a space station MPU that I've just finished repairing on the bench and I'll take it over to my test rig. It had some alkaline corrosion up here. Fortunately, none of the traces were severed, but the 4.7K bust pull-up resistor was damaged, so I replaced it. And somebody was uh, fiddling around down here with U38 and U30 and 39 and managed to sever three traces. One was for a data signal to U38, which would cause a U38 PIA failure on boot. And then pin 10 of each of these 4011s, the trace was severed back to the PA2 and PA6 signals on this 6821. And it was odd that uh, pin 10 in both cases was severed. It was just pure luck that that, or, or unluck that that happened. Usually I was suspecting this SIP resistor SR11 is being damaged, but a little probing around proved that that wasn't the case. So let's get it on the bench. Space Station MPU take two. So in addition to the things that I mentioned in the prior clip on the, well, I had it on my workbench, I also found that Q77, the center tip 102 here, was also failed. It tested good, <coughs> excuse me, in diode test, but in gameplay, not so much. So let's boot it up. Turn off a light here. You can see that the lamp matrix is doing what it's supposed to. And the only solenoid on is the AC select relay. Let's go to test. And all those sounds were actually coming from my taxi uh, soundboard. It's soundboard with taxi ROMs. And that proves that the MPU can, in fact, drive the correct sounds to the soundboard. Got mixed up on which test, display test. And that's all working. So you can see that all those voices are in fact working. Lamp test, single lamp test. Next test is solenoid test. So you'll see a red LED come on followed by this LED, which is the AC select circuit, and then a green LED come on. There's a couple of exceptions to that rule, solenoid five, and on Space Station, Solenoid 14 is not used, so it'll skip that. These are the special solenoids that are being fired right now under CPU control. These are the flipper enable relay circuits. I can see if the switch drives for the special solenoids work, and they do. Next test is switches. So I'll go to switch edges and go through column one and now I will go through row one and let's see how many switches space station has interesting all 64 are used next test is nothing I put an NVRAM in here too so let's set this thing to free play I'm getting good at remembering where that is now. So when I cycle through this, it'll reboot, and we are in free play. Everything is working properly. Thank you so much for sending it. Let me show you the most important addition that I made to my bench. Right here. The champagne of bottled beers. I'm retired, folks. Eat your heart out.